what I will do in this particular session, I will tell you exactly what particular PowerPoint you need to pay attention, okay? And then, see, for some reason, you know somebody that cannot watch the videos, I already, I already post in my YouTube account some old videos that include the four chapters, meaning that there is some four chapters already there. Now, I need to clarify that the chapter number four has something extra. And are basically some pictures that you need to review because some of those pictures will show up in their quizzes. Okay? Let's start in media chapter one. Most of the three classes saw the chapter one completely, but I will pass through them immediately again. Okay? Um, basically, where I will start, uh, basically with the topic of pathophysiology, we already saw all that. I don't have any interest in about this particular PowerPoint, and this is what I like to do. If the system works with me, I do an X, meaning you don't need to go through this PowerPoint. Moving on immediately, etiology is what we call a VIP question. It's VIP meaning that I will do a PowerPoint, or I will say a multiple choice, or a true or false with this definition, meaning you will see it. There is four different tests. Make sure you review this PowerPoint, because one question related to this PowerPoint will show up. A theology, study of causes or reason for phenomena, identify causal factors that are acting in concern provoke a particular disease of injury, okay? If there is no any question or something else, I will move on to the next one. Again, use the chat if you want to send me any particular question. We also saw this one over here, the classification, idiopathic, iatrogenic. Remember, when it's idiopathic, we don't know the origins of that particular pathology. In my experience, when some doctors tell you that is because, number one, he didn't make a proper clinical history on that patient, or they are missing something in that clinical examination. Idiopathic diseases normally are diseases that probably we show up for the first time, and that is why we need to be extremely careful when we classify a disease like that. Iatrogenic, obviously, when we commit a mistake, could be unintended or wanted medical treatment at any particular levels. Factors, factors when presence increase the likelihood of the disease. Over here, I would say, careful with the first bullet. I will pull out something from here to do a true or false or a multiple choice, okay? Meaning, careful with this one. Remember, all the PowerPoint that I will present tonight is the universe of the PowerPoint from where I'm pulling questions. Not necessarily you will see all the questions because there is different questions for the different tests. But when I make sure that this particular slide is there is because there is a question related to this slide. Moving on to the next one, see there is no any other question. Pathogenesis, you need to understand that this is the key of this class. I need to go with this definition. I am pretty sure that I saw it in two of the four quizzes, meaning that 50% of the classes we will see this question. There is a multiple choice and also a view true or false. Okay? Meaning, careful with the definition. I like to mix it with the other definitions. And basically, what I do over here is to split part of the definition that will make me create a multiple choice. But again, you will see this definition. 50% of you will see this question in the quiz. Okay? I will click it. See, there is any question over there. Let's move on. Clinical manifestation, this is a, what I will call a freebie. 
if you ask me why is a freebie because i have a multiple choice and you will see this question in three or four quizzes how the multiple choice will be very simple i will put a blank i put the definition i put the definition and then i will use the other ones like options i hear an open microphone i hear my voice very well thank you i cannot continue until that person put that microphone mute don't make me track you because i will treat you in the middle thank you okay. adrian please Adrian once, Adrian two. I will put you in mute. All right. That remember that this particular video will be in posterity, meaning that everybody will know that Adrian have the microphone open and make me a little bit deaf. All right. Let's move on to the next one. See, there is not a question. Again, I will let the questions to you. That no signify that I will put them in the quiz. I don't like to do it, but hey, you can practice because this is something that you can still see core. I will move on to the next. I have question for this one. Pay attention, it will be very specific. I have a question for this one. Yeah, I have a question for prodromal period. These two definitions are showing up in the quizzes, and you will see them in basically in three or four quizzes, meaning that 75% of you will, will see a multiple choice or a true or false of those definitions. Okay? I am telling you that I did a multiple choice of that. What will be the approach now? Make sure that you put this slide back and make sure that you go over there. Uh, Modly make me a question right now. Let me see if I can go back in the next one. We have subclinical stage. Over here you have patient that is working normally. The processes are with stage, meaning that you don't see a huge problem with this person. The sequela, you have a person that has a conditions already as a consequence of the first injury or the first pathology. In subclinical stage, that person look completely healed, don't have and don't show up any particular disease, okay? That is the difference over here between sequela and subclinical stage. Again, coming back to the previous one, I have a question for this one, and I have a question for this one. Careful. I have a multiple choice. I have a true or false for these two. And again, three or four quizzes have this particular question. The next one, the Latin period, is part of that previous question that I did over there, meaning that this particular bullet belonged to the previous question from the previous slide. So clinical stage is included in another multiple choice. What is my recommendation? Even that I didn't ask you this one directly, make sure that you recognize that definition because I can trick you out pulling out that definition and make me look like another particular definition from another word, okay? Meaning, even that I don't ask you this one, careful with the definition. Don't confuse with the definition. The, f the previous one, the first one, exactly what I mentioned over there, that one is coming as a part of the previous multiple choice that I mentioned before. Moving on to the next one. Acute and chronic course over there. Careful with the acute. Is the one that I have more interest right now. The chronic definition, we will see it so many times in the class. And because I can do only 30 questions, that's why I didn't mention this one in your quiz right now. But the acute clinical course, careful with that definition, because I have a question related to that definition. Okay? 
You will see that question just in two tests of four, meaning not necessarily you will see that question, but it's there. Moving on to the next one. Exacerbation, revision, convalescence, and sequela. I need to tell you that I have questions for all of them. I have multiple choice. If I have true or false from the same PowerPoint, meaning if you see the true or false, probably the other person will see the multiple choice. And exactly what I mentioned many times, I like to do like this. I put a beautiful blank, I put the definition, and then I use every other definition like an option for that particular definition. You got it over there. Careful. My true or false basically work in same kind of category i for example i can say convalescence over there and instead to give you exactly the same definition so convalescence i can give you the definition of remission this is the basically how i do it meaning extreme careful how you do this in the quiz and i will suggest to put aside this particular slide because i am telling you you will see a questions of them let's move on Exactly. I don't know why I have so many problems with sequela, but remember, you have, for example, a uh, dengue fever. Dengue fever, you have a huge of malaise, you have uh, arthragias, you have a lot of fever, so on, so on, so on. Once that the virus starts to basically move away from your body, you get a pneumonia. Pneumonia, in this case, in this patient, is the sequela to have that beautiful dengue fever in this patient. Meaning there is another condition that will follow to the original one. That's it, basically what is a sequela. Normally, you will see a sequela in patients that are immunocompromised. A person that have a good immunity or have a good health, normally you don't see a sequela, okay? But that is basically what sequela is. It's a pathologic condition that will follow a particular illness, okay? That is very different for subclinical stage because in subclinical stage, that person is not showing up any kind of sign symptoms of any disease, okay? Again, the luxury to recording this particular session is that you can go back to the videos in YouTube as many times that you want and review that particular uh, definition over there. Move to the next one. Believe it or not, we already have chapter one already done in the three main implications forget about this one i decide to eliminate this one meaning that that one go away exactly what i mentioned in the class i will have to remove this one away also you don't need to pay attention to this one put it away the validity and predictive value also a way you don't need to go through this one that's in the way that i basically compress the material to help you out to study for this particular quiz because i know that the first complaint that everybody having is a lot of chapter for 30 questions but i try to guide you to what i think is important for you at this moment meaning that one is out sensitivity and specificity yes careful with these two Somebody will see a question. I know if somebody will be mad at me because this is just in one quiz that you will see or a multiple choice or a true or false. But it's coming. You will see something with this one. But again, just in one quiz of the four. Remember that one test or whatever lab test that you have in front of you normally have more sensitivity than specificity and sometimes vice versa is more specific but less sensitive it's very very rare to have a lab test that have both okay meaning careful with definition i will ask you in your quiz let's move on to the next one if there is not any question the individual factors i was looking back and forward and I decide to remove this one away. You will not have this question in your quiz. I eliminate it. And because it's eliminated, let's move on. 
the increase basically include this one if one is out. Now, epidemiology, this definition is coming. I have so many ways how to ask this question, meaning I suggest that careful with this one in a multiple choice in a true or false. Obviously, two or four quizzes will see this question. Again, so if there is any kind of question, just let me know in the chat. Moving on to the next one. The types of endemic, epidemic, and pandemic, I need to ask you that. Especially today, the Department of Health already declared an emergency because of the coronavirus. Meaning that if you still don't have the opportunity to watch that tiny video that I put in announcement, that link in Facebook, it would be a good idea just to be prepared because you would never know when somebody in your family is coming from Chicago or from Europe and will bring this beautiful visitor to your house. Meaning, careful with those definitions, I will ask them in true or false and multiple choice. Okay? But it's coming. And because they are so in vogue, that's why I need to ask them. It's, it's funny, but I tell to my previous classes, in the previous term, that this particular terminology will become very, very cultural in the few ways that are coming. And now they are calling me back and saying, hey, you saw the future. No, no, no. It's because it's what it is, okay? You need to see just the smoke, and you know that there is some fire somewhere. Meaning, careful with this slide, it's coming as a multiple choice or true or false in the test. I will say that three or four quizzes, we will see this question, meaning almost everybody will see it. Uh, I was so inclined to remove this question, but at the last time, I put this question just in one test of four. This question is very simple. It's a copy paste. I put over there everything is an aggregate factor or epidemiologic variable except, and then you have A, B, C, D, and E, or the above, none of the above. Obviously, I will probably change something that would be the except in the question, but this is a question that only one quiz will see. In which Baptist hospital? Here in Miami? Send somebody, Jose Castillo, saying that CNN confirmed the first case. Yay! Congratulations to us. We are so well. Now, <laughs> happy January. Happy New Year for all of you. Meaning, yes, with that reason, we need to isolate Norris because she's working there. Okay, no, just kidding. Meaning you need to have all the precautions over there, okay? <laughs> but as you see over there, many people don't understand this. You live in a planet. Anything that happens in one corner of the planet, sooner or later, will reach to your beautiful jar. And this is what is basically happening right now. It's time to create conscience that you live in the same place. This is not frontiers. It's the same air, the same sky, the same water, but the people are still believing in difference. Well, good for them. Well, we need to identify if that is the one from China. I don't think that is the same coronavirus, Calvo Diaz. We need to check. But if this is the first confirmed case of coronavirus from China, that will be in the news very soon tonight in every, in every TV station. And the problem with that is not only that, with a Super Bowl in Sunday and almost 45,000 people spreading diseases via beautiful pandemic. That's why I will not go over there. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> All right, question, I will leave it to you. I will never, never will do these kinds of questions over there. Now, the levels of prevention, yes. I have true or false and multiple choice about this one. Careful, 
true or false, very simple. I put primary and then I will give you the definitions of tertiary or I will do a multiple choice. I put the blank and then I will put the others as an option and then I would all the nonsense as an option and the people like to take the nonsense as an option, good for them. Meaning that you take a nonsense in as an option in the multiple choice. I know already that you didn't even study this particular PowerPoint. But two or four, we will see this question in the quiz. Okay? We are reaching basically the end of chapter one already. And because this is a question, this is out. And with that, chapter one, chapter one is gone. I will stop the recording over here.